What up, everybody? My name is Wade, and this is my show, Let's Talk. Uh, we're talking about Tyranids, uh, 10th edition. I've uh, been waiting a long time to get these videos for 10th edition Tyranids out. I wanted to wait till we had the Codex. So uh, here I am. <clears throat> I'm doing lore videos to match each unit that uh, goes hand in hand. So uh, I don't have a lot of time, so I want to get right into this uh, with the Hive Tyrant, the Walking Tyrant, otherwise known as the Walk Rant. <clears throat> um, you can find us, uh, The Dragon's Liar, on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Uh, go ahead and check us out. Um, go ahead and check out the video that explains our new rollout schedule. Uh, it's going to be worth it. Go ahead and check it out. Um, talking about Hive Tyrants, I've played probably five or six games of 10th edition. Um, only one with the new Codex. So let's talk about why he's good. Uh, movement 8, yeah, that's pretty good. Just remember that uh, Tyrant Guard are Movement 6. Tough 10, that's pretty good. Just remember that Tyrant Guard are Tough 8, and you have to use the toughness of the Bodyguard unit. <clears throat> um, 2 plus save, really good. Uh, 4 plus invulnerable, really good. 10 wounds, pretty good. Doesn't seem to save him. Uh, my Tyrant dies all the time. Uh, 7 plus leadership, doesn't matter because he's always inside a synapse. Objective control 3, that's gonna uh, become important sooner or later. It hasn't won me a game yet. It hasn't uh, won me an objective yet. <clears throat> uh, one thing that's probably good to know about anyone who listens to my tactical videos uh, is you got to know that I play against uh, my friends that I know really well that I've played with for 20 years, and they're really good. Uh, they're really good players. They have such a strong uh, control over uh, the rules and the little niches in the rules uh, that you need to know to really eke out a win. <clears throat> um, they, they know how to work it. Um, also, they use units that are just epically great. So I'm just, I'm consistently going up against units that are insanely hard to crack. Uh, strategies that are the, the best out there. Um, not that my friends are like super competitive because um, they don't go to tournaments. They don't do any of that. Uh, however, there's no fat in the armies that they bring. They're not bringing units for funsies. They're bringing units to do business. Uh, so you might hear some cynicism uh, in my my strategic, uh, and that's because I don't play against people who are not serious business. Um, I need to branch out more in my Lansing community because I live in Lansing, Michigan. I need to branch out more, and I need to get I need to play against more casual players who bring units for funsies uh but i i don't have that luxury at the moment <clears throat> so uh anyways i bring mine with a heavy venom cannon uh right now i think uh bone sword lash whip heavy venom cannon uh is the way to go otherwise uh i don't think the stranglethorn cannon is worth taking <clears throat> Um, yeah, you're right. The attacks on the Heavy Venom Cannon can be really swingy. You know, what are you going to do? You need the AP2 and the Strength 9. Um, the Strength 9 is going to be, you know, double-toughing Marines. And, you know, I, I hear the very popular concept is to, to spec to beat Marines and you can beat anything else. Um, AP is King in 10th, so I'm going with the AP2. I like the 36 inch range. Um, I like that no matter what, he's always got a 2+. Uh, he should. He's Hive Tyrants are supposed to be pretty BA. Go ahead and check out my lore video on uh, Hive Tyrants in There Is Only Lore. It's one of my other shows. Go ahead and check that out. So yeah, I think the uh, Heavy Venom Cannon is the way to go. <clears throat> um, I'm not using the, the extra Monster Scything Tales. Like I said, Bone Sword, Lash Whip. I've actually I've heard a lot of people complain about Twin Linked. Uh, they say it's worthless. However, I had Twin Linked save my butt uh, the last time I had a Hive Tyrant in melee combat. So, you know, once again, uh, six attacks that ain't nothing. Uh, two plus that ain't nothing. Uh, strength nine, double tough of Marines. Uh, you know, we're gonna struggle against vehicles, and I hear a lot of people are struggling against vehicles, but I don't see the other people that I play with struggling against vehicles, so I don't know. I, I hear this addition, they try to make vehicles, you know, super, super tough, but I don't know about anybody else who's struggling against vehicles. Are you struggling against vehicles? 
Um, I was a big fan of the Tyrannofex. Not that this is a Tyrannofex video with the rupture cannon, even though it's really swingy, but it went up 45 points in the last codex. So, uh, I'm, you know, uh, in the last game that I played, I brought two Noran Emissaries, and uh, they melted some stuff with their uh, Lance, Psychic Lance. So I'm thinking that might be the way to go. <clears throat> uh, so that's how I trick them out. Go ahead, make sure you you pay attention to the war gear rules there. Um, no Hive Tyrant can have two Venom Cannons. No Hive Tyrant can have two Stranglethorn Cannons. No Hive Tyrant can have one Heavy Venom Cannon and one Stranglethorn Cannon. Um, I feel like Gaz Workshop is working super hard to make sure that we can't do that. Um, it's a leader, so uh, it can lead Tyrant Guard. I love Tyrant Guard. Bring your Tyrant Guard everywhere you go. <clears throat> Deadly Demise, don't forget. Deadly Demise, uh, when it dies, or if it dies, uh, on a, a roll of a six. <clears throat> Shadow in the Warp, uh, that's great. It's you know it's great against uh, Imperial Guard. It's great against uh, Tau Fire Warriors, I'm sure. It's great against Orcs, I'm sure. But I'm just playing against Dark Templars. So um, uh, it's affected by Synapse, which it is a Synapse unit. You're pretty much always going to pass uh, leadership. <clears throat> Will of the Hive Mind, keep in mind this has changed recently. So you can only use uh, on uh, Battle Tactics. So you can, uh, a unit within 12 inches, um, once per turn, so you can do it on your turn, and you can do it on your opponent's turn, which is super cool. <clears throat> um, you can basically use a stratagem for zero CP. Uh, you can use it on command reroll. Uh, and the invasion uh, deployment uh, has two uh, that you can use it on, and one of those two is the 5 plus Gilma Pain. So keep that in mind. Um, it's it's the it's the one that I'm going to play the most. I think I think it's got the tools to get the job done. <clears throat> um, the onslaught aura is actually pretty cool because I ran my two Norn emissaries up right beside him, and then they were able to move, advance, and then shoot their melt lances, and that worked out really well. <clears throat> I definitely made my enemy poop his pants. Uh, that's you, Justin. You pooped your pants. Um, so that aura is pretty cool. I, I like the Hive Tyrant. He just hasn't performed for me as well as I wanted him to. They were boss in ninth. They were boss. And I'm, I'm struggling right now, uh, with my Walker Ant. <clears throat> Let's throw up the Flyer Ant. We don't got a lot of time. Uh, but the Winged Hive Tyrant, he moves a lot more, which is great. His toughness is lower because, you know, he's got air sacs in his bones. The saves are the same, the wound is the same, the leadership's the same, the objective control is the same. Having a flyer with objective control, pretty cool. Um, I actually suggest Bone Sword Lash Whip and then the extra talons uh, because, in my opinion, a wing high tire needs to get up there and chew something to death, uh, eat it to death. And the extra attacks is pretty cool. It's still at, you know, AP2, two damage. The three damage on the Bone Sword, man, you know really hope that that works out <clears throat> um you know deadly demise deep strike and that's the thing i've experimented with winged hive tyrants uh as backfield uh harassment um you know being able to drop in uh fly over and uh take an objective or contest an objective i just haven't had oc3 win me an objective yet Will of the Hive Mind is the same. Paroxysm is actually kind of nice. At the start of the fight phase, you can select an enemy unit within 12 inches, visible to this model. Roll a d6. On a 1, the Psyker suffers d3 mortal wounds. On a 2+, plus, which is very likely, until the end of the phase, subtract 1 from the attack characteristic of weapons equipped by models in that unit. I mean, that right there can be pretty powerful. Unfortunately, I haven't seen it work out for me. Every time I've used a flying, uh, a winged type tyrant, he just got melted. Um... So I just haven't seen the results. But I'm going to give them a try. I'm going to keep on giving them a try. Ninth edition, Winged Hive Tyrants. We're boss. Anyways, uh, we here at the Dragon Slayer understand that you're a pretty busy person. Jobs, kids, spouses, work, school, kids, dogs, kids. Did I say kids? Kids. Um, so we want to say thank you for spending your time here with us at the Dragon Slayer.